Around the world men's thoughts will fly, quick as the twinkling of an eye, and water shall great wonders do. How strange, and yet it shall come true. Beneath the water men shall walk, shall ride, shall sleep, shall even talk, and in the air men shall be seen in white and black and even green. For in those wondrous far-off days the women shall adopt a craze to dress like men in trousers wear, and to cut off their locks of hair, the ride astride with brazen brow as witches do on broomsticks now there'll be a sign for all to see be sure that it will certain be then love shall die and marriage cease and nations wane and babes decrease as wives shall fondle cats and dogs and men live much the same as hogs pictures alive with movements free boats like fishes beneath the sea when men like birds shall scour the sky then half the world deep drenched in blood shall die then half the world deep drenched in blood shall die. For those who live this century through, in fear and trembling this shall do, flee to the mountains and the dens, to bog and forest and wild fens, for storm will rage and oceans roar, when Gabriel stands on sea and shore, and as he blows his wondrous horn, old worlds die and new be born. Fiery dragon will cross the sky six times before this earth shall die, mankind will tremble and frightened be, for the six heralds in this prophecy. For seven days and seven nights, man will watch this awesome sight, the tides will rise beyond their ken to bite away the shores, and then the mountains will begin to roar, and earthquakes split the plain to shore, and flooding waters rushing in will flood the lands with such a din that mankind cowers in muddy fen and snarls about his fellow men. And when the dragon's tail is gone, man forgets and smiles and carries on to apply himself. Too late, too late, for mankind has earned deserved fate. His mask smile, his false grandeur, will serve the gods their anger stir, and they will send the dragon back to light the sky. His tail will crack upon the earth and rend the earth, and man shall flee, king, lord, and serf. And men will die of thirst before the oceans rise to mount the shore, and lands will crack and rend anew. You think it's strange, it will come true. And in some far-off distant land, some men, oh such a tiny band, will have to leave their solid mount and span the earth, those few to count, and those surviving this will then begin the human race again. But not on land already there, but on ocean beds stark dry and bare, not every soul on earth will die as the dragon's tail goes sweeping by, not every land on earth will sink, but these will wallow in stench and stink of rotting bodies of beast and man, of vegetation crisped on land and those that live will ever fear the dragon's tail for many year but time erases memory you think it's strange but it will be and before the race is built anew a silver serpent comes to view and spew out men of like unknown to mingle with the earth now grown cold from its heat and these men can enlighten the minds of future men to intermingle and show them how to live and love and thus endow the children with the second sight a natural thing so that they might grow graceful, humble and when they do, the golden age will start anew.